Hey guys, Nozu for you here with a little double vision. Got around here with Little White Mouse and Lurt, both in the Alabama. So I'm going to shift views back and forth between the two. Little White Mouse, as you all may already know, writes some wonderful, wonderful reviews for ShipComrade.com. These are probably the best reviews out there. So if you haven't checked them out, please do. She goes very, very in depth with ships, all ships, and the Alabama, she had some very nice things to say about it, despite one glaring fault, which we have covered in depth. You've probably seen all over that the Alabama has a giant high sitting citadel on the sides. Now it's not my job to sell you the Alabama. It's not my purpose either, but I don't want you all to miss out on a ship that is very fun and a ship that has the ability and the propensity to do very, very good. I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm defending the Alabama because so many people have written the Alabama off because of that Citadel, and because they feel that the North Carolina is in some way, shape, and form a better ship, when in fact the ships are very, very similar. So, look, if you've seen the reviews already and you don't plan on purchasing it, that's cool. I, I get it. You know, the, the ship will never be a tournament ship. I get that. I understand that. If you're looking for a tier 8 tournament ship, this is probably not the one for you. If you own the North Carolina, this may not be the ship for you because of how similar they are. So that, that might dissuade you from purchasing it. But if you have grinded up the United States battleship line, you sold your North Carolina and you're looking for a new class of ship, being that this is a South Dakota class battleship, this may indeed be the ship for you. It is a fun ship. You can do some very good rounds, as you're gonna see here. Little White Mouse did 192,000 damage this round. Lurt did 100,000 damage, which, that's not bad. That is well above average. Now, Lurt made a couple mistakes in this round. One significant, and it really highlights the negative aspects of this ship. However, Little White Mouse is playing highlights the positive aspects of the ship. So this is a very good round because it gives you an idea of the pros and cons of the Alabama. So you can already see that Lurt is getting down to business. He's doing some damage already up to 19,000 and Mouse is just trying to kind of maneuver herself into position here. She's She's trying to get into position. There's, the enemy is just really, really attacking C right now, and that's where the big battle appears to be. Their heavy hitters are there. Um, are the R team's heavy hitters are there? R is in Little White Mouse and Lurt. So the battle is going to happen there. That's where everything unfolds. So again, the Alabama. You know, it's it's really got the ability to do some great things. It's just you got to be open to it, and and I just feel like there's been a lot of negative press revolving around the Alabama as of late. So I, I don't want that to dissuade you. And the purpose of this round and bringing you this little double vision action between two Alabamas is just to show you that you can have great rounds in a ship. You can also have bad rounds, and I've, I've had bad rounds in my testing. I've, I've had rounds where I've done 160,000 plus damage, and then I've had rounds where, you know, I, I thought I was concealed, popped out of concealment, and Missouri had been trading his guns on me and just timed my turn perfectly, and three Citadel me. But again, you can do that to a Missouri, so th this is nothing out of the ordinary. And I know the Missouri's getting a slight buff, the Citadel's getting lowered in that, the Montana. But it's not like the North Carolina is immune to citadels and, and damaging hits. If you sail broadside in any ship, your chances of getting citadel go up phenomenally, no matter how low the citadel sits. So really, the Alabama is all about knowing where and how to play. That, that's the same with any ship. You gotta be aware of who's to your left, who's to your right and react accordingly. So, flipping back to Lurt here, he's getting some more damage. Lurt really started off hitting hard early in this round. He's already up to 30,000 damage. Kind of uh, 
kind of outpacing Mouse at the moment, but he's, he's put himself in a good position, though. He's got the majority in complete uh, sailing broadside to him, and he's just in really good position right now. And that's why he's racking up this damage right away. And he's a little behind right there. But got some decent pins on the ship. And now he's up to 44,000 damage. So, very good start for Lurt. And Lurt is a super tester, if you all are not aware. And he frequently collaborates with Mouse on her reviews. So, he knows his way around ships as well. B both of them do. There's a wealth of knowledge between the two, so I, I trust both of their opinions deeply. Um, and, and like I said, Mouse's reviews, I mean, she spends hours upon hours in her reviews, and they're just very in-depth. She breaks it down for you, wh whether or not you want to use the ship for fun, for for tournaments, uh, for, for anything. So, again, she, she had nothing but positive stuff to say. Ooh, and this... this the ship's kind of juicy broadside right there, but I don't think Lurt he just did not have his guns ready to go. He's going to try and get those shots off while avoiding these torps right here. But this right here is going to kind of set things in motion for Lurt. And fortunately, he finds some refuge within the smoke that this destroyer is laying down. Very fortunate for him because he is burning pretty good. Um, We've already touched on, uh, you can see him dodging those torpedoes just a moment ago. We touched on the fact that the uh, Alabama has a pretty good torpedo bulge, and people are selling that as the reason you should purchase it or the reason you shouldn't. And, you know, why, why does the Alabama have that over, over its uh, citadel being higher or lower? And the, the selling point of the ship is not the torpedo bulge and, and his ability to soak up torpedo hits the the ability of the alabama as mouse is highlighting right here somewhat is its turning abilities this ship is agile it's quick it has the smallest turning radius in its tier and really there, there's no other equal to it other than the dunkirk and the new mexico which also have very tight turning radiuses i think off the top of my head war spites might be a tad better but, I, I mean, just, it turns very tight. And that's why the Citadel sits higher, and that's probably why they're not going to lower it at all. Just because the turning is so tight on it. If you lowered the Citadel on this ship, it, it wouldn't make it overpowered. But it would just make it a very hard nut to crack. It'd be a hard ship to take down with very tight turning and a lower citadel, a well-protected citadel. And we know historically that the Sodaks were very, very well protected. More, more so than North Carolina. I mean, they were built to be brawlers, which never really happened in World War II outside of uh, Guadalcanal, where South Dakota got into a little scrum. And you can see uh, Mouse getting some pretty good penetrating hits right there. She's, she's upping her damage, too. She's kind of maneuvered herself into position now, uh, finally, and taking up position just behind Lurt. But that, that's what they were built for. They were built to brawl, and Guadalcanal, Sodak got into a brawl with Kirishima and some other ships. And Lurt, Lurt is going to... He, he's going to show you right now the, the major weakness with the Citadels in the... Um, Alabama. He's, he's going to wind up in a situation where he opens up just a little too much with some heavy hitters and he, he's going to pay for it. And you can see he's almost at full health right now. And you can see right now he's kind of flattening out against this Missouri, which is, is not the right thing to do. And Missouri rounds incoming. And boom. There you go. But in return, he's going to fire at the Missouri and um, he's going to get one more shot off before he's saying she he got some good penetrating hits on the Missouri right there. You know, they're, they're, they're both hurting though. And he, he just flattened out too much, opened too much of that side up and just witness, uh, you, you witnessed that downside of the, uh, Alabama that everyone's talking about. So, uh, look at all these ships right here and he's just trying to pick and choose which he wants to fire at. So he's going to go for the Missouri and... He gets two citadels on that. He goes down, though, again, um, flattened out uh, just a little too much and opened up his side. So that just leaves Mouse 
to kind of clean up shop here. She's going to take out the Missouri with a final Citadel. And again, broadside Missouri. It doesn't matter how high or low your Citadel is. When you're, when you're sailing broadside like that, you're just, you're going to eat it. So again, Alabama at Guadalcanal um, got in a brawl with the Kirishima and some other ships. Uh, got really lucky, actually. It did take a 14-incher from the Kirishima that did not ignite because Kirishima was loaded up with HE for shore bombardment. Um, Washington, a North Carolina class, was able to sneak in. And in one of the few battleship-on-battleship -battleship duels, Washington absolutely slaughtered Kirishima. So you can see Mouse is backing up right here. And, you know, she, she's she's keeping her guns forward. She's not giving up her sides. And that's how you got to play this ship. And I know a lot of people don't like backing up. But in this ship, sometimes you have to. And she's opting to do that rather than use that turning radius to get somewhere else. Because she does not want to go broadside against this North Carolina she does not want to open up her sides, and, and that's what you got to do in this ship. It's, it's better to back up than turn. And I, I know a lot of people are adverse to that, and that's cool. If that's not your play style, I get that. But not every ship can be a German battleship. Not every ship can play like a German battleship. Sometimes you just got to play, play smart like this. And she's got a lot of broadside ships to her right now. However, their range is kind of out there, and, and she's just kind of backing up right now to get herself out of what could have been a bad situation and look, look at that from range there's a citadel uh, very very nice shot right there and again that that just goes to show that the North Carolinas are not immune to either plunging AP shots on their side or their deck so you know, there, there's a lot of downsides to North Carolina people don't bring up. Like, its deck is very thin. Alabama actually has a stronger deck. And this, this ship is just asking for it right now. Um, Mouse had HE loaded up. I uh, don't know if she wanted to do that or not. But she did set this BG on fire, and she's kind of going after it. I don't think she's going to spend much more time on it, though. Uh, she's going to pull forward and head away from the Fiji, focus on bigger targets, uh, and, and that's another thing, you know, that Mouse is really good at, picking her targets and knowing when to give up on a ship that's kind of placed itself out of the battle, and you can see right here, she's still got three ships to her, and the, the neat thing to watch is as she picks her targets, she, she looks for the one that is most broadside to her, and she'll switch between ship and ship, and, and that's what a good player should be doing. Know. And there, there's another Citadel right there, and that it, it paid off for her. So, I mean, pick your targets wisely. You know, if you got to hold, you, you don't have to fire as soon as your ammo becomes ready to fire. You know, wait, wait for the target to present its broadside. Wait for the opportunity. So, you can see these rounds inbound right now. They're going to finish off that North Carolina, and she's already up to 125,000 damage. So she, she's already given herself a good round, and she's not over yet. But it's still a very, very close round. Despite the fact they're up, they're, they've only got two caps right now. So she, she's still very much trying to take the rest of the ships out, and, and they're going to have to to win. They, they just absolutely have to. So... There's, there's some good penetration right there. Again, this North Carolina is just kind of in a position that's not optimal for it. And Mouse has her guns. Face forward, again, playing very much like a North Carolina. Again, if you're familiar with the U.S. battleship line, you're going to be familiar with the Alabama. You're going to be familiar with its play style. So... Some more good shots, and she's going to switch here to this, uh, this nice little broadside cruiser we got. Just sailing the little Pepsi Cola over there, and a little short right there. So those, those wound up a little short, but again, poor alert at the bottom of the ocean exhibited the downside of the Citadel on the Alabama, and Mouse is going to finish that off right there. 
and she's at 143,000 damage now. So, you know, for, for most people, that, that would be a hell of a round. And at, at this point, she's, she's giving commands to her team. She's, she's trying to get her team to move where they need to be because they have lost all caps at this point. And I don't know if it was that Fiji that doubled back to snag C, but it doesn't matter. C was snagged, so she's trying to get back so she can take C. And there's that Fiji again that she let go, which kind of came back to haunt her just a little bit. But she's got AP loaded now, so she's going she's gonna to start going after that. And just a little short right there. Those, those rounds wound up a little short. Would have been a nice kill right there. But right now, her goal is to just slow the bleed because already the enemy team, the Op 4, is overtaking them. And th this really was a nail-biter of a round. And they, they do pull it out. They, they do pull it out. I can tell you right now, it was very, very close. So Mouse is just trying to chase this Fiji down, doing all she can to take care of it. Uh, and the, the interesting thing about the Alabama, I think, the thing that upsets me the most about it is it's not the Citadel on the side. I can live with that. I can deal with that. I know how to deal with that. It's, it's the fact that there's really nothing else special about it. And I was hoping that it would get radar or something similar to that. You know, I think it would have been cool to give it defensive fire. We don't have a battleship with that yet. It would have been neat to give it something like defensive fire. And might might have made it a little too unfair against aircraft, but the thing about battleships, especially U.S. battleships, is they they weren't necessarily designed for battleship on battleship fights. They were created to screen aircraft carriers and fleets, and the U.S. placed increased emphasis on anti-aircraft capabilities. So. They were just phenomenal at protecting fleets from incoming aircraft, kamikaze fighters, and the likes. So the, it would be neat if they had given Alabama defensive fire, in my opinion, but she's still very good at swatting aircraft. I had a round the other day where I uh, shot down 44 of the enemy's aircraft. So it's no slouch when it comes to AA, and there, there she goes. She finishes off that Fiji. Nice little citadel to the side. Not much, not much hit pool remaining on it, but she's at 170,000 right now. You can see time is running out. She's only got 50 seconds left. They, they're losing, so essentially she has to find and sink the ship, which, uh, because this is based off a of replay, I, I'm going to tell you right now, since it'll end abruptly, she turns the corner, finds the enemy. Uh, she's going to eat one on the nose here, but... She finds the enemy, she takes it out, and goes from 169,000 damage up to her 192. And there you have it. Just a phenomenal round by Mouse and Lurch. Shows the pros and the cons of the Alabama. Anyhow, a great round. So, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, Alabama's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, I hope you give it a second chance. Anyhow, I am out.